Hey, what's up, guys? This is Pizzing64 here, and a lot of a lot of us just got the new One Plus One phone, or new operating system, Oxygen OS, and a lot of people are bitching about the battery life, uh, how buggy it is, etc. Well, what I'm going to show you today, it's not quite as good as Science Mod 11s. But I still get pretty damn good battery life for a lot of techniques. Um, if you noticed, uh, first thing what I what I would do is get rid of all the bloatware, the Google bloatware that you don't use. Now, yes, there's some apps here that you know you're not going to use. Screen recording right here. I'm not using this one because uh, it, it it doesn't work right with this but this is a very good screen recording app the right here uh actually i'll show you in the play store so if you ever want to i'm using this the az but lollipop screen recorder very good but i'm using the az recorder for this video because it's one that works and it works just as well so either one will work for you but uh we're going to talk about how to get rid of the bloatware first if you noticed a lot of the apps, the Google apps that are pre-installed are not on here. Uh, you got to uninstall it twice. And what I mean by that, first go to the Play Store. Mine's already been done. So, let's go. We're just going to type in Google. Okay. So, a lot of these apps would be pre-installed on here. See all these, <laughs> most of these. Google Sheets is on here. And how do I end all this well okay so for example let's go to Google Chrome it will say uninstall so you would hit the uninstall button but it's not completely uninstalled on your phone so I would get this app Titanium Backup Pro you have to get the pro version well you don't have to but I did it and you would go here you would type in Google Chrome and it will say we're going to use this camera. It will say uninstall. So you hit uninstall. So you have to uninstall it twice. Because it's a system app. Because if you don't. If you don't uninstall it this way as well. all This will just say update. And it will just re-update itself. When you restart your phone. So if you uninstall it from the system. And from the Google Play Store. It's completely gone. Now do that for all the apps. Uh, next thing you want to do is the most obvious stuff. Uh, sorry about this, guys. Um, you know, do your typical Wi-Fi, LTE, you know, turn all that stuff off, Bluetooth, location, very important. Uh, one thing you want to do, another thing, uh, you got to play with the settings a lot. A lot of this has to do with just settings. Uh, you want to go here. Make sure NFC is off because when you first install the ROM, it's on. And most people are never going to use that. Uh, cellular networks. You want to make sure. I don't know about roaming. I turn it on. I don't know. Um, if Make sure that's correct because if that's not incorrect, your uh, internet or your mobile data will constantly be searching and that kills your battery. Uh, gestures, turn these off, please. Unless you absolutely need to use it, I would not. I would make sure all these are off. I don't even use any of these. Uh, because this, this actually will keep your device on, well not like, it won't go into deep sleep, and deep sleep's very important battery life. So do that. Display. Uh, this is important. Turn this to 15 seconds. Uh, turn this off. Ambient display. Because that's when your device will turn on. If it moves. Uh, adaptive brightness. A lot of people don't like this. It's basically auto brightness. You can turn it off. I keep it on if you need it. But that's one good way to save battery life is turn this off and adjust it 
the way you want. But I keep it on. I still get good battery life. One of the most important things... Let me go... It's not security. This one's a big one. Accounts. Right here. You want to you have to turn this off. That is probably the number one reason why Oxygen OS battery is bad. Because this auto sync data. This is huge. Um because if you with the uh, all this constantly syncing, it will cause uh the um the phone to stay awake and it's not going to deep sleep and you need that so make sure make sure that is all that is probably the number one thing developer options go to about phone hit bill number you know most people already know that what I do here make sure advanced reboot is on doesn't really change battery life but it's very useful uh, I'm not sure if there's anything else really in here. I this Windows stuff. I usually turn it all off because it don't really need it, and plus it makes your performance better. Here's a big one. At most four processes, huge battery saver, huge battery saver, right there. All right. Next thing you want to do, uh, another thing you want to. Hit hold the home button. Oh wait, I didn't do that. Wait a second. Or you can do this. Go to settings, voice, OK Google detection. You want to make sure this is off. Uh, because you turn this on. OK Google. OK Google. It's supposed to, it's supposed, to, yeah, okay, can't reach Google at the moment, that's weird, but what it does is it will keep the microphone and the camera and everything awake, so your phone is constantly turning, keeping itself on, um, trying to hear the words, okay, Google, and it kills a lot of your battery, so you want to make sure that is off. That's another huge, huge battery. Another thing uh, to do is download Trickster Mod, or you can even use the Franco Kernel Updater, any CPU app. You want to. I didn't really mess anything with this, but here, or not tool, I'm sorry, general. You want to make sure the minimum is there. See how that um, was way down to, or way up there at 17,000? Well, your phone doesn't need to have that much power when it's sleeping or, you know, when it's off. So make sure that is down to the lowest it can go. Apply successful. Another thing to do. Uh, download this app called Disable Service. Go here. Go to System. Go to Google Play. Uh, Google Service. And you want to. I think. Uh, I get this one mixed up. You want to make sure this one's on System Update Service. You want to keep that on, and you want to make sure do, this one is off. So, system update. So yeah, that one needs to be off. But you want to keep the other one on. I know it's kind of confusing, but... That's... And one, the final thing you must do uh, to make sure your battery life 
is good is go to this G service fix get this app and follow these instructions now my things now I've had my phone charged since 10 o'clock or like 10 or 11 in the morning and I'm at 63% and it's going on 8 o'clock and I've been using it a lot so you want to use this do what it says and your battery life should be as good as it was before now am I going to Science Mon 12 yeah you gotta do the same things for Science Mon 12 uh there is one thing this thing constantly checks for a system update and I really don't know how to change that to like you know how in Science Mon 12 S or Science Mon 12 nightly sorry where you could change when it wants to check for an update I always change it to manual but that's pretty much it for me guys um, if you could think of other ways to save battery uh, post a comment link in the or post a comment uh, I'll put a link in the description of some uh, forms you can do to get oxygen uh, if you could give me some tips if you could share this video for a lot of people complaining about battery life and I found lots of ways here to save it for you. I know I got all this stuff running, but yeah. But that's it for me, guys. I'm Piznik64. I'm out. Peace.